Mike Pompeo, who is uh, Trump's CIA director. Now, there was a story. Sorry, he's the Koch brothers' CIA director. Right. Exactly. There was a story. He's a former ultra-right Koch brothers uh, congressman from Kansas. There's a story over the weekend in the New York Times that a CIA agent uh, whose name has been released before, Mike... I'm forgetting his last name. Maybe somebody could look it up for me. Uh, who was his name was revealed a couple of years ago, and there's a sort of mythology built around him because he's known as this tremendous, ruthless CIA operative, and quite clearly was involved in the torture program. He's involved in the drone program, and then the, the, this notion that apparently he converted to Islam because he has a Muslim wife, I think, well, he met stationed overseas. He's known as an extremely aggressive operative. And he has been put in charge of the Iran portfolio, um, which obviously is an indication that this escalation against Iran is going to deepen. I think if you just look up CIA Iran, it's a New York Times story, it will come up pretty fast. And, you know, there's no doubt that the Republican, neoconservative, ultra-right establishment has never wanted the Iran deal. There is a group, small group of people in the world that don't want this deal, and that's crazy people here, horrible people in Saudi Arabia. Mike Dandria. Mike Dandria. So it's horrible, is the CIA operative, Mike Dandria is who we're talking about. Extremists here, horrible people here, Horrible people in Saudi Arabia and horrible and demented people in Israel. People who either want to use Iran as a foil, as Israel has. Israel would love to point to Iranian conduct as a sort of prime distraction from its ongoing occupation and siege and everything else. Saudi Arabia uh, views Iran as a prime enemy in a proxy war, which it is, but it's been primarily an instigator of itself. Um, and fanatics in the United States have always agitated for conflict with Iran, just as fanatics in Iran have advocated for conflict with the United States. There's some people in the administration, I think McMaster is an example, who do have an understanding of why the Iran deal is working, but they also uh, clearly hold a grudge against Iran because of things that Iran did in Iraq um, during our occupation of Iraq. There's no doubt they were funding some Shiite and uh, training Shiite militias that killed U.S. troops there. Again, it's proxy war activity, not justifying it, but that's reality. And this is not, you know, we don't have to have a world's color view of any of these places, but the deal is working. And undermining the deal is one of the, in addition to all of the other insanity in the world that is being unleashed, one of the greatest threats to global stability and peace imaginable and really probably the prime foreign policy achievement of at least the last decade. The Iran deal is negotiated by uh, the P5 plus one, and all credit, of course, to John Kerry and Wendy Sherman for that. This is Mike Pompeo. In light of these moves, he's talking to the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies, which is an extremist far-right think tank in Washington. And this is how a guy who controls, and still remember, there's we knew under Obama that the drone program was killing civilians and was not properly legally codified and audited. And people like us who criticized it, not only were we criticizing the Obama administration's failures, but we were saying, look, what about when an absolutely insane, demented Republican takes over and there's no rules on this stuff? What's going to happen then? Well, listen to the mentality that your director of the CIA has right now. And so we've now laid out a strategy for how we're going to execute our mission with incredible vigor. We're going to become a more, much more vicious agency in ensuring that we're delivering this work. We're going to go to the hardest places with some of the hardest people in our organization to crush it. And when we do that, the president has promised that he will have our backs. <laughs> well, there you have it. He sounds just like Trump. That was probably the only thing Trump said is like, I got your back. Do what I you need to do. I got your back. Just be vicious. Just be vicious. And again, to all the people on like the that weird dumb dumb left margin that had a notion that somehow because, you know, 
maybe some people from intelligence services have leaked things about Donald Trump that he was going to be some operative against the deep state. You're fucking delusional. The deep state's worst nightmare. The deep state's worst nightmare because I'm super concerned about civilian casualties in the military industrial complex. It's not to say that Hillary Clinton wouldn't have been terrible on foreign policy, but she also isn't somebody who might randomly drop a nuke. This yeah. is so deep. It's a deep state. Boom. I stand corrected. Sean Hannity and Donald Trump are going to rein in U.S. drone wars, covert action, support coups, death squads, and civilian casualties across the globe. Of course. And you just heard it there at Mike Pompeo. They're going to be even more vicious. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.